Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Now y'all know I got tattoos, right? Uh, it's a different kind of video. I know y'all are used to AAU shit, vlog, or uh, uh, basketball videos, and things of that nature. Well, today, I'm getting a tattoo. And I'm getting a really expensive tattoo, and it's gonna be a really dope tattoo. So I thought, why not film it and post it? Um, so there's this tattoo artist that I've been seeing on the internet. He tattoos all NBA guys, all the NFL guys. Um, and I was recommended to him. Now, saw his work, linked up with him, um, figured out a date, figured out what I wanted to do. And uh, today we're making that shit shake. I'm getting my entire left leg done. All right, now y'all know I got a little tattoo on my right leg. I got a tattoo on my arm. Um, but I've always wanted my leg done, full leg, left leg. Um, I just didn't know when. I was always nervous, hesitant to do it. But today is the day, and we're finally making it happen. Um, I'm excited. Now, the reason it's so expensive is because I'm going under anesthesia. Yeah, I'm going to be asleep during the entire tattoo, y'all. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. This is a new type of video. I don't usually do these kind of videos. Um, really, I'm just going to show you all the progress, show you guys the stencils, show you guys the prepping, show you guys during the tattoo. I got someone filming me while I'm getting tatted. And then I'll talk to y'all after. I don't know how I'm going to be after anesthesia. I don't know if I'm going to be out of it or I'm going to be able to talk a little bit. But um, it's been a while since I've been under anesthesia. But, uh, yeah, man, this is going to be exciting. I hope you guys are ready. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm getting. I'm, I just want to show you guys. I'm not going to tell you. But stay, stick for the rest of the video. It's going to be fire. It's going to be dope. We're about to go in right now. Yeah, we out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's here. The last weekend of football. Super Bowl 58. This is the last weekend of the year to get your football bets in. I've teamed up with DraftKings and right now is the perfect time to take your shot at the crown. DraftKings is giving all new customers $200 in bonus bets Instantly, when you place a $5 bet on anything, there is no time like now. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use my promo code WILDER. Y'all, you bet $5 on anything, you will receive $200 in bonus bets instantly like this. Super Bowl 58 is here. Make sure you guys download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Thank you to DraftKings again for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the banger.
maybe we can add like a like a like an angle or something.
Hey, so y'all are probably wondering, when'd you put that jacket on, twin? When'd you, uh, yeah, it's currently Saturday, February 10th. Now, the reason I waited a week to kind of give you guys an update at what's going on, after this vid, after I got done getting tattooed, mind you, I was under anesthesia for about nine to 10 hours. Gone, out of there. I woke up and I couldn't remember shit. I couldn't talk. I literally, bro, they said I just went. I went to the car, I got home, straight to bed. I didn't remember nothing. Now we are currently seven days post tattoo and y'all are probably wondering how I'm feeling. Uh, I'll tell you what, right, my leg, the first two days hurt like a bitch. Shit, bro, like, when I tell y'all I was limping everywhere, like, it was throbbing in pain, my leg was hurting. I'ma pop a video up somewhere on the screen right now. This is what the tattoo looked like the day after my tattoo. So that night I got tatted, I went in the next day to kind of get my tattoo cleaned up, um, talk to the tattoo artist, tell, you know, Talk to everybody how it was going. Uh, y'all were probably wondering what the hell was Jerry Judy doing? Yeah, so in a, if y'all don't know who Jerry Judy is, he's an NFL receiver for the Denver Broncos. Um, he was there because he recently got his body tatted. Um, and he was in there chatting it up with my dad. And he was watching my tattoo for like an hour, hour and a half, I was told. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, found out that he knows what Rob Wave Elite is, so that's kind of cool. The tattoo artist's name, I already said it in the beginning and, and, and tagged him in the beginning. His name is Ortega Inc. Now, he has a tattoo shop in Arizona, um, and he is probably the most talented tattoo artist that I've seen personally. I haven't been too big into tattoo artists and looking into the tattoo world and who's the best. All I know is, is Ortega is the best, from what I know. Ortega is the best, because as you guys see the detail, like, bro, like, he made this shit come to life, bro. Like, Thanos looks real. And also, let's talk about that. Uh, some of y'all, some of y'all are like, bro, like, why would you get Thanos on your leg? Like, people slap anything on their leg and think it's fire. People do this, people do that. First off, I'm kind of mad at Overtime because Overtime found the clips of my tattoo and posted it on Instagram ASAP. Once I saw the main page of Overtime posted, it was cooked because the vid, the first off, the post did over 150 thousand likes. Two, I knew the hate comments was coming in. Always happens. But yeah, the hate comments was coming in talking about anybody slapping anything on a tattoo or anybody puts a tattoo together and think it's fire, whoop de woo. People had a lot of shit to say. But I'll tell you what, it's I got the tattoo, y'all didn't. And I'm gonna explain why I got the tattoo and the certain pieces I got. My whole leg, my whole so my whole right side of my body, my right arm, all my tattoos on my right arm, and my tattoo on my right leg is family oriented and 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 the Lord. Everything is oriented that way. My left leg was my childhood. My left leg is everything I loved growing up as a child and things that I that I just love. You feel what I'm saying? Black Panther and Spider-Man are my two favorite protagonists, superheroes, any like any any like bro. Black Panther hits different for me cuz you know what I'm saying? It's Black Panther. R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman, I fucking love Black Panther and I fucking love Spider-Man. I had pictures when I was a young kid. I had a Spider-Man blanket when I was one years old. Had that same blanket till I was 12 years old. I was always doing the spider web shoot shit. Big Spider-Man and Black Panther fan. And Thanos is by far my favorite pro or antagonist slash villain ever in my life. I have watched Infinity War and Endgame probably each 20 times or more simply because of him. I'm dead ass serious. Watching those movies made me go look at the comics. I was never a comic guy. Watching those movies made me go look at the comics that Thanos was in. Like he is my favorite villain ever. Like I've been begging Marvel to bring him back in some type of way because he didn't die. Y'all know he vanished. He can come back. He vanished. He didn't die. He vanished. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got the Marvel theme. Now let's talk about the basketball thing. I have a Calvin Cambridge jersey because Like Mike is my favorite basketball movie of all time. Um, I didn't actually get Bow Wow on my legs. I thought that would be weird, but I got a Calvin Cambridge jersey, which is fire. I'm on the inside of my thigh. Um, like Mike's my favorite basketball movie. I've been watching it since I was a kid. My second favorite basketball movie is Space Jam. I love Space Jam. 
Uh, as you see, I got the Monstars going up the entire back of my leg. Um, and then I got a, a Bugs Bunny holding up the Michael Secret stuff with the bottle. Yeah, I remember. Legendary movie. The Michael Secret stuff. But I changed it to Cam Secret stuff. Cool little uh, twist of mine. And then the final piece I got was the Cause doll on my leg. That's just kind of like a fire pop culture reference. Um, ever since I was in high school, middle school, I was, I was always... Uh, uh, into cause dolls for some reason. I was always looking it up, looking up what it meant, looking up all kinds of dolls. Like, I don't know. I always had a, a love and a and a. Uh, I don't know. It's just a weird. I don't know. I just fucking liked and always look like to look at cause dolls and shit. I don't know. It's just something I really liked. I got cause dolls all over my fucking house. Like, I don't know. It's just a, it, everything is oriented towards me. And then, of course, I got a RWE tattoo because that is my brand and that brand has helped me blow up. And I'm going to continue that brand for the next 10 to 15 years. You feel what I'm saying? So those are the reason I got all these tattoos, man. Uh, everyone has a reason why you get tattoos. I don't just put these tattoos on my leg for no fucking reason. OK, I have a reason. OK, and it's my body again. One. Nigga, if I want a fucking tattoo, I'm gonna go get a fucking tattoo. Take it off. Everything, all these pieces are me. This is me. Everything I love and loved growing up. This is me. Anyways, y'all, let me know if y'all fucked with this tattoo vlog, man. Uh, let me know if y'all want more daily vlogs of me doing shit. We are currently 40 days away from our very first AAU tournament. Um, so yeah, but um, yeah, let me know if you guys want more vlogs like this, man. Shout out to Ortega, man. One of the most talented tattoo artists I've ever seen and ever had. Um, shout out to his team too because y'all seen why I had like four people tattooing me currently my, my tattoo is now peeling it is healing It doesn't hurt as much the main parts that hurt the most is where they really shaded and went really dark um, Those are the only parts that really hurt right now. Uh, I'm gonna wait another couple days. I've waited a week I haven't sweated on my leg. You're not supposed to sweat on your leg um, Whenever you get a tattoo, so I've been waiting like a week. I got a men's league game on Tuesday So I'm gonna wait till Monday maybe Tuesday morning to get in the gym, get some warm up work in before I get into that men's league. But yeah, man, we're in the healing stage. Legs feeling better. Um, but yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Shout out to Ortega. Everybody go follow Ortega's Instagram. He does amazing work. All my older people, if y'all were thinking about getting a tattoo and you're inspired and need an inspo and you like tattoo content, go follow Ortega's Instagram. I'm gonna leave it down here at Ortega Inc. Go follow him, bro. And if and go and he posted a reel of my tattoo. Go to his Instagram reel, like it, and leave in the comment section. Came from YouTube and tell him what you like about my tattoo. Like, show him love, y'all, cause he did his shit. Yeah, I'm just chatting my ass off. We're gonna get the fuck up out of here. Bye.